Away from law and order, let's do some education stories now. Because the absence of school feeding program in most schools in the Bulsa North District is hampering teaching and learning. And as Eva Atiboka reports, out of the over 100 primary and kindergarten schools in the district, only 14 benefit from the school feeding program. There are 59 kindergartens and 51 primary schools in the Bilsa North District alone. But out of the number, only 14 schools are on the school feeding program. And this is what happens during break. At Bandema Primary, this mango tree provides pupils their lunch. <laughs> It is little Awale's first day at school. She's in the Yimansa Primary School because it is close to her home. But it appears she has made a wrong choice. The school is not on the school feeding program. Before noon, she was already hungry. She says she's not going to school the next day. Actually, it's not easy. You know, it's a village school. And so it will interest you to know that even some of the kids come to school without eating. Immediately after 12, a lot of disturbances and it's all due to hunger. So it's, it's actually affecting the school. They can't stay for long. And whatever they bring to school, they eat it in the morning. After the first break, we can't control them again. So we always have problems after the first break. Some parents prefer to take their children to school about 10 kilometers away because the schools are on the school feeding program. And such situation creates overcrowding. The issue is the National Secretariat of the Ghana School Feeding Program normally gives a quota. When you are given a quota as a district, you use the quota to distribute to the schools. So if you are not given a quota, there's no way you can bring on board the beneficiary school. 